Hey guys, um, I recently ordered the G0602 uh, CNC lathe conversion kit from BD Tools on eBay. And this is the package right here, so I figured I would do an unboxing. I haven't seen any unboxing videos of this particular kit. I've seen people put the kit together. But I actually haven't seen an unboxing video for it, so I thought I would do it um, as I'm opening it so I can see it for the first time. or depth effects or anything like that but uh, the one part that I was gonna have a problem with was this ball nut because you had to mill it down and I didn't I didn't really want to use an angle grinder to do it um, but so here is the I want to say this is uh, Z for the cross slide it could it could be X I could be backwards it could be Z is the long axis um, actually, yeah, so this is X, because Billy has a note in here, but it uh, pretty much comes all assembled. Uh, he drilled and tapped the end, and there is uh, the belt and the pulley in here, uh, that pulley, and... might cut part of this and then you can see right here that it's just a one-to-one a -to, -one to get the, the pulley down lower so that the the cross slide can come all the way out because if you were to put the stepper motor um, happen to have one sitting around so if you put the stepper motor up here the cross slide can't come past the stepper motor so putting it down here allows it allows you to get the full travel of the cross slide. And uh, yeah, I mean, so it looks pretty good. And put this, I don't want to lose any any parts because I'll probably install this weekend. I'm just gonna reuse my uh, stuff electronics from the plasma table that I have um, and I know the motors the 570 inch ounce motors are rated for 5 amps and I'm running the old the uh, KL 4030 stepper drivers on the other machine which I think are only good for like 4 amps so I'm not gonna be able to run run these at their potential but I'm Deciding on electronics because I, th I think I might convert from uh, from Mach 3 to Linux CNC. Um, the machine work on this is pretty solid though. 
and you can whoops you can even see that it's um, notched out and then this this kit I don't suspect will take very long to install um, so we'll do the x-axis you put a note for the uh, I don't know if that'll focus. Uh, Z axis, sorry. I put a note that this was the Z axis. So if I can. And then I actually have the uh, G0752. Uh, and it's the lathe. It's pretty much the same thing as. Uh, G0602, but it has a variable, um, or it has a VFD uh, to change the speed, so I don't have to change the, I don't have to go through changing belts and pulleys and stuff. Uh, you can if you want more or less speed, but, uh, and this has got a, a bearing in it. Uh, but yeah, you can change it, change it for more or less speed. But I'm going to see if I can't just reuse that. I, I know most guys just buy the 0602, but I actually got it as a Christmas present uh, two years ago, I think it was. And uh, so, you know, I mean, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> two inputs. So... I'll just use it for, uh, use the one while I'm using Mach 3, and then as I convert over to Linux CNC, I'll end up buying a new, uh, a new PC for doing that. Uh, so here is the Z axis. Yeah, Z axis. So then this goes onto the headstock end where the stock lead screw comes out and then this end I'll probably I'll have to pull off the, the tape but then this end just sits in there and it's got a set screw uh, to hold it in place and then I was kind of wondering so I'll have to spin this assume that they're 3 sixteenths again yeah so these are 3 sixteenths cover but I don't know that it really matters that this this part is what bolts on to the lathe so it's, it, it orients like this and so this part bolts on the lathe and then you screw then you screw these. Or, oh, there it goes. Then you screw those in there. Um, oh, it looks like there's actually four more uh, screws in there. Because it would make it easier to get the, the nut tightened uh, when I get the stepper motors. Okay. So you need a... Uh, 960 forts for the four screws that hold this assembly in and then you need a quarter inch for the larger screws and then it was a I think that was a three sixteenths yeah three sixteenths um, for the other two screws and So this part actually comes off as well, but the stepper motor will mount to these four screws that I didn't pull off, and then you'll 
tighten them on this flex coupler. And then you'll just reassemble. Uh, you'll get it oriented, you know, get a screw or two in there, and you could always, or I guess, if you're paranoid enough. Well, this is going to sit like this, so if you orient it with it facing outward, then you don't have to worry about getting chips in there. Um, so I'm not going to take this apart. Uh, this is pretty much self-explanatory. Um, but that's kind of, I don't know if you can read it, but it has, it's inscribed for the Z-axis right here. And then it says BD Tools USA. Uh, but overall, it's, it's pretty solid. Uh, it actually looks like he's a piece of channel uh, with the way that this is shaped. Uh, but yeah, so I'll be up uploading more videos of the install process. I'll probably do them as a series and spread it out across a few videos uh, but for now I gotta get cleaned up and get back to work but uh, thanks for watching guys